Oh, hey, cool. Ooh, yes. Saving. All right, let's see here. I'll take this green herb. Yes, I will. Nurse's journal, don't need that right now. Handgun ammo, yes, please. Anything else? Nope. How long am I going to play for? Until I'm done. Which means I might finish this tonight because it's not an incredibly long game. I hear it's like seven hours. Pick this up. There we go. I need the key for that. Uh huh. Okay. Do that though? I guess. Oh, yes. Yeah, I did. Cool. Oh, hey, there's the key. Yay. It's the key to success. Oh, this is not a completionist run. I don't do completionist. I, I've never 100%. I've never 100%ed a game in my life, except there. I think there was one game that 100%ed it, and I can't remember what it was. It was a long time ago, though. It was oh, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man for the PS4. I 100%ed it. Yeah, definitely 100%ed it. I gotta find the tape. Oh, shut up, you. Spider-Man for, uh, for the PlayStation 4 is actually one of my favorite video games of all time. And I mean of all time. Like, it is 
Again, it is the only game I ever 100%ed. I loved it that much. I was in love with that game. I loved Spider-Man. I loved the combat. I loved everything about it. The only thing about it, honestly, is that some of the characters, the characters look a little weird. Like, uh, Peter Parker look, and, and, and Aunt May, they all look a little weird. Um, the human, human models were not phenomenal a lot of the time. Um, but, you know, that being said, I, is that, anyone, did, did anyone see, did, is that, is it just me, is that, is it just me? I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott removing something out of the locker in the nurse's station and walked towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community, that kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and he will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong. Oh, hey. Hi, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, hey. Oh, it's just you're over there. I just need a horseshoe. Okay, I have too many. I have too many health sprays. What a good problem to have. Um, shit. Uh, are we still doing Vegeta plays and Krillin plays? We are actually not. Um, Nick's kind of taking a break from that sort of stuff for a while. I'm, I think we're trying to kind of move away from relying on other people's material, you know what I mean? You know what? This is really lame, but... I want that hand grenade. Like, is there literally anything in here of, of, of use to me? No? Okay. Alright, what's the uh, combination for this? Because I'm not, I'm not dealing with that bullshit.
You're late and still going. I can do this because night shift. Hey, dude. Do you know how late I stay up? Every goddamn night. Every goddamn night. Gotta find that fucking cassette. You guys in the D pad are very similar. D pad? I actually don't know what the D pad are. I'll have to check them out if they're cool though. I guess there's nothing around here, so I guess I should just go back this way. Okay. Oh yeah, totally not Mark's fucking uh, Goku Black video is phenomenal. Um, you know, I I don't necessarily agree, like, okay, so... I agree with most of his assessment of that arc. To be fair though, I actually really enjoyed the Goku Black arc up until it's really terrible, worst, awful, shit, fuck, bullshit ending. And that ending really is just the fucking worst. It is such a bad ending. It is... Unbelievably bad. Remarkably bad. I, I can't believe that uh, Dragon Ball managed to pull off such a t terrible ending. But they did. Oh boy. It's kind, of, it's kind of remarkable because Super's worst ending is then followed up with its best ending. Um, even if that ending kind of came way, 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 way too late to that arc. Man. I'll tell you what, the Tournament of Power arc is really cool, but it is too fucking long. Code 93? Okay. I'm getting that then. I want it. That's sexy as fuck. How would I fix the Goku Black arc's ending? I would just leave it at Trunks killing Goku Black. Like, honestly. Just let that be the finale. Let that be it. Like, he already pulled a stupid, dumb bullshit move out of his pocket that was really cool and I fucking loved it, even if it was dumb as hell and had no good explanation. But, man... It was awesome. Like, and everything after it is the worst. I, I, I'm sorry, I love the Spirit Sword. I actually really dug it. Uh, sure, I, I too at the same time was like, what the fuck is going on? This is, this has no explanation. This makes no sense. But I, I, I didn't care. I don't give a fuck about that. I didn't give a fuck that it had no explanation. It was awesome. Okay, Super Saiyan Ikari is dumb as hell. It's really fucking dumb. Super Saiyan Ikari is one of the worst tra uh, transformations in the entire series. It has an absolutely no explanation, and it it looks really cool, but then immediately afterwards, it is awful. Like, really, actually super bad. Oh shit. Oh shit, is that what I wanted to get to? Oh boy. 
That's what I was looking for, wasn't it? Ah, I've got to go all the way back there. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, see, what I was hoping is that when he used the spirit sword, um, and I was hoping that he would try and block it with one of his hands, the one that was wearing the time ring. So when he tries to block the sword and, and Trunks cuts him up, like, cuts him... Uh, up the middle, it takes out the hand with the ring on it, and he, they defuse and Goku Black, now that he's not protected by the time ring, causality kicks in, and he just deteriorates into nothing. Um, and meanwhile, you have Zamas left, who's immortal and can't die, and then just be like, hey, Z uh, Omni King, remember when I said I'd bring you someone even more entertaining than me? Yeah, here's Zamas. Have fun with him. That is how I would have fixed the Goku Black ending. Yeah, I'm still at it. This guy don't need you anymore. Cool. Now I have the thing that I need. Oh, what are you? Oh, no. Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, no. 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, that's, that's, yeah, that's the, that, yeah. I agree, actually. Uh. Well said. I'm gonna save. Thanks for the 500 biddies. M1 2G. Let's see. Anything that I want to put away real quick? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna store one of these. And otherwise, I'm gonna keep everything else. How would I fix Jiren? Okay, actually, oh my god, are we playing the game of how would uh, how would Kaiser Neko fix Jiren? Okay, actually, so one of the ways that I would fix Jiren is that I would have all of his teammates actually reminisce while fighting different characters about how they met Jiren and what Jiren means to them, how Jiren recruited them, build him up as this guy who built the team. Uh, and then play into the fact that, oh shit, he doesn't actually care about any of them. He only did it to build his own strength. Like, you would have other people, his other teammates, be the, uh, the avenue, the, um, vehicle for his story. Because when you do that when you know that he means something to other characters and for good reason you start to get an idea of what like not only is he strong physically but he's also got this strong personality that draws other people to him um which then makes you kind of want to see how he develops and where he goes Okay, you guys are shitty. Okay, okay, you're really shitty. Okay, okay, you know, if you're just gonna do that... I won't lie, this is actually kind of bullshit. 
So, I'm just gonna do this. Better, guys. Oh, hey, there's the audio cassette. Yeah, that corner pressure was mad. Let's combine with this. It's combined now. Oh, hey. Hi, guy. Yeah, oh, Jiren's backstory is the fucking worst. Which is why, like, you cut that bullshit where, oh, his his village was was murdered. Night, Jocken! Cut the his fucking uh, village was murdered bullshit. Just cut that entirely. Maybe have, like, his planet was destroyed by some motherfucker. Or his, his like, planet was ravaged by war. The fucking Revenger is... The, the Avenger archetype was always lame for him. Like, but you can give him something that really actually, like, makes him kind of... Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what? God. Fucking damn it. But yeah. I think it would have been really cool if all of Jiren's teammates actually trusted him and loved him and they had been brought together by him. So you'd have this really cool story going on while everybody else is fighting uh, to build up the relationship that he has with them to then mirror it to the relationship that Goku has with all the people that he knows. Because Goku's brought together some of, some of the most amazing warriors in the fucking, in his universe. Like, literally all of them actually. Fuck off, dude. Oh my god. This is bad. Fucking kidding? The first one of these I ever fought went down so easy. Oh my god.
Let's see here. Okay. Okay, game. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I'll take it. I'll just I'll just take that for what it's worth. Guy didn't even know he was being shot? Yeah, he's on too many drugs. Too many prescription meds. It's the pharmaceuticals, man. They want us all hopped up on drugs. But what you gotta do is take the right drugs. Take our drugs, not the government's drugs. We got a party going on here. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not dealing with that. I refuse. But I am taking that ammo, though. All that ammo. God d d d damn. And I will also take this green herb. Oh my. I need all of you to back up off my dick immediately. Oh god! Ah, I didn't even notice him. Fuck you, dude. 